parents and the children could have fun together. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Welcome to the My DVC Points podcast. Join the conversation as DVC members share their stories, personal preferences, and magical memories. Your reservation is confirmed, your fast passes are booked, pull up on the yellow strap because our journey into the magic of membership is about to begin. Now, here's your host and curator of magical stories, Chad Pennycuff. Welcome home, neighbors, to episode 257 of the My DVC Points podcast. Today's show is a DVC resale market update, and it is sponsored content. I've been sponsored with DVC resale market for probably four or five years now, and they are phenomenal partners of the podcast and of our show. And I'd like to welcome Linda Smith to the show. Hey, Linda, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I can't really complain other than it's summer and it's hotter than the Jeebers here in Orlando. And I'm like, <laughs> all of you people that are staying out of here and driving the point charts down in summer, I get it. I, I like completely <laughs> get it. Like it, it's just, it's hot here. Okay. It is. It is. It's, it's, we bake every day. Trust me. Yeah. I mean, I like November can't get here quick enough, Linda. It's Ugh. when our glorious weather gets back. You bet. And we might be able to open the screen door then, but it's the humidity. But I'll tell you what, we're not as hot as Arizona, but we're pretty darn hot. In today's show, we are talking about our monthly DVC resale market update. And Linda works for our sponsors over at DVC resale market. And we're going to be going through, well, what happened in the month of June and our normal monthly recap report here. So Linda, let's start with our lead story that the red hot deals return. Oh, it's great. I'll tell you what, this is like one of my favorite things. We didn't know we would do it again. We did it for the first time ever back in February as an experiment to see what everybody thought about it. And they loved it. We probably went through over 200 listings in several weeks and everybody was quite happy, seller and buyer on both sides. So what better opportunity as things start to slow a little bit typically to go in roaring into the summer and do it again. And we are very happy with results. And I always tell buyers, don't give up with just what you see too. Keep checking back in because we get selling requests every day for all different resorts and many sellers will choose to go into this. So keep a tight eye on it because it runs for a few more weeks. But if you see one, better grab it. Yeah, so let me just clarify what this is. This is the ability to come back in and buy a contract slightly below market value, mm -hmm. but it's like the eBay buy it now. It's like yeah. haggle free. It's like, hey, this seller has agreed to sell slightly below market value at a red hot deal with this special promotion so that they can move their contract fast. And you as a buyer can come back in, get a haggle free buying experience. It's kind of like buying the old car Saturn. I mean, I'm a Detroit guy. What can I say? It's everything's <laughs> got to be back to the auto industry for me. But like that Saturn car level dealer experience or going in and buying a Tesla today, the price is what it is. There's no negotiating and you just kind of click buy it now. And that's how this works, right? It works exactly that way. And you know, what's great about this is you don't have to go back and forth. These sellers have to qualify to go into this wonderful promotion. They're 10% below market value in already, Chad, a buyer's market. So if this were going on last spring, summer, the prices would be higher. So I got to tell you, this is probably the best you're going to see in terms of price. No negotiation. There's no offers going to be accepted going to the seller other than full price. It's sold, including closing costs and whatever else might be there as far as dues or prorated dues. But it's the best you're going to see because the market's starting to creep up a little bit for sellers. So I wouldn't sit around at yeah. home and wait for six months and go, oh, it's gonna go down further. You're not gonna see this. This is very low right now. This is the time. And with the Rofer monster sleeping, literally hibernating, Chad, I always thought that a bear would wake up in the spring and start being really, really hungry, but no, 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 no. This bear is sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. But as you can guess, one of these days, he's gonna wake up. Yeah, so Rofer Monster refers to Disney's right of first refusal. When you get ready to sell a contract, if I were to sell you, the listener, a contract and one of mine, 
Linda would write up the deal. You would come in and make the offer. I would accept it. And then before we could actually close on that deal, Linda has to come in and submit it over to Disney for their right of first refusal, hence the nickname Rofer. And then Disney has the right to look at this and say, hey, I'm going to step in as the buyer and take that deal because it's so good. And I want to get the points back and rent them out, resell them, whatever Disney does with them. And this is a historically odd year because we've only seen four buybacks. We normally see like four a day at times. So this is just like really, 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 really crazy that we're into July now and we have four of them. Four in January. And they were all Copper Creek, by the way. So when you think about a buyer sitting out there that before this time, before this has happened where there's no buybacks, that maybe they had one taken back by Disney last year and they're nervous about getting in the market. The buyer confidence is at an all-time high because Disney, quite frankly, is just not buying anything back. They have bought back zero contract from us after the four in January, nothing in February up to this point. And you know what? It doesn't look like they're going to be opening up their purse strings anytime soon and getting back in there with buybacks. I mean, we can never say for sure, but it just doesn't look like the bear knows that it's time to wake up. They're sleeping and sleeping hard. Well, this is just my own reading the tea leaves here, because if you <laughs> follow Disney at, at a financial level, mm-hmm. they've got this Hulu Comcast deal that's coming up where they've got to bring billions of dollars to the table. So I think they're doing everything that they can to raise cash and to raise capital. They're coming in here. They're digging through the couch cushions. They're doing everything that they can do to come up with cash. This Comcast deal go forward. And so they're not buying back contracts from consumers because they're trying to just push their active inventory. Let's sell what we already own and increase our cash. Oh, absolutely. If they have to buy resale and then and in order to flip it, they make, you know, this much on the deal. But if they can sell you a Riviera point that they just built or a Grand Flow point or Disneyland Tower or Alani active inventory, they've already paid for. Now it's just pure positive cash coming back in. That helps them in a great position for where they need to be to come in and write this check to Comcast. That's my own little take on this deal. And I think that's very valid. You got to remember with Disney that they've bought back a lot last year. They went from the average of about 10 to 13% up to as much as about 28%. I think the number was very close to that. So what they have now is they have a warehouse. It's just sitting inventory and they don't want to concentrate on those. They want to concentrate on the live product, the new tower. They want to concentrate on Riviera to get those sales up. Certainly Grand Floridian, get that sold out. Probably should have been sold out long ago, not, but it's moving well. So no, it's time to get more of a higher price per point. And those live products are going to do it for Disney. So it makes perfect economic sense to go that direction. But they always have to have a drop product. But Chad, with all they bought back last year, they got plenty sitting around in the corner. But the problem is, is that it's such a high price, much higher than we are here. Yeah, you can definitely save a boatload of cash by buying resale. And I think you've also got another fear that's coming into this is we now have four active properties right there, four. And in the not too distant future, I'm riding by that monorail, that poly tower will be up for sale maybe within a year, nine months, something like that. Yeah, I think it's coming out in 24. And you know what? All the time I was at Disney all those years, we never had this many DVC products to sell at one time. It gets a little confusing. You're putting awful lot in the market. Linda, not only that, but we've already seen these new refurbed cabins Mm -hmm. over at Fort Wilderness getting wheeled in. Yeah. So it's like the Fort Wilderness deal is going full steam ahead. That could be six active properties if they don't start moving some and closing some out. Yes. I think that's why there's a fire sale at Grand Sale there direct right now. Yes. This is a resale show, so we'll kind of let that one sleep until we come back up to our new incentive show as well. But I think that's what's going on in the right of first refusal. But let's shift, Linda, and take a look over at average sales prices. Mm -hmm. And the really great thing is every month you guys create this report and you trend back 13 months. Mm -hmm. So we can see this trend visually if you scroll down here. Mm -hmm. but we can also just see it numerically as well. And as I'm like eyeballing up this list over in here, Linda, I'm starting to see more risers than I am decreasers. 
Yeah, it's true. The market has been, if you take an overall average, it's probably at its highest average of all the resorts, say back in end of last winter. So you've got some standouts here. I know Polynesian, we've been selling that very, very well. And you can see where that's an uptick in price too. Also, you see places like, you know, I'm looking down through here, kind of the middle ground. Saratoga has gone up from 110 to 115, that's always been a really good value resort for people interested in buying one, say lower dues as well. And then Bay Lake Tower went up a little bit too. And if you look down through there, you can kind of see the results at the very end of the year under June 23. And then there's a couple that's been very flat and Old Key West is just kind of on the flat side. And even, you know, that's funny too, Chad, if you look at Riviera down there, look how much Riviera jumped up from May to June from 130 to 139. That's a big leap for that product. When sellers call, they say, well, you know, can I actually sell this? Well, we do sell it. And a lot of times you mm -hmm. run into a Riviera current member who wants to go from a one bedroom to a two bedroom. And that's why they want to pick up additional points because they know they can only use them there, but it works well for them. But there's a lot of shining spots there for the sellers. And overall, this market is starting to trend up a little bit inch by inch for sellers. Yeah, that's very true. And there's also people that just want to stay at Riviera and they only want to stay there. So they're going to pick up a couple of points to just get the 11 month booking at Riviera and they don't mind it. You know, no, I'll bank, I'll, I'll, I'll bank, I'll borrow, I'll do whatever I got to do. I love Riviera and I mm -hmm. want to stay there and I want to save some money in the process. And it, exactly. Those are your Riviera resale buyers. I can't say that that's me or I would be doing that, but uh, you know, to each their own, Linda. I think there's something magical about every single resort out here, and there's a right person for every single contract. Absolutely, it's out there, and I can't stress enough. I mean, these are prices from three or four years ago, pre-COVID, and with the red hot deals, I would be really trying to zero in finding a contract today. Yeah, well, we're going to pick up Red Hot deals again in just a second, but let's come back in and look at what our beach resorts are or mm -hmm. our non Walt Disney World resorts as another yes, way of looking off property. at it. Here, Alani down three bucks, no big deal. It's like within a standard deviation for Alani, if you ask me. Hilton Head up a little bit, same thing, same story. Mm -hmm. In Vero Beach, also, these guys just kind of waffle a little bit, but they're all within a normal range. So I'm, there's no real story here other than Grand yep. Cal. And yep. I'm looking at Grand Cal going, okay, I know what happened here is the villas at Disneyland Tower came out for sale. The DVC community had a knee-jerk reaction about the lack of free parking and those transient taxes that are there at that resort. And all of the Grand Cal contracts just flew off the shelf and went like completely by. Drove yeah. the price way up. And now that the reality is setting back in of, oh, well, there's not guaranteed parking because of the Disneyland forward deal where they're going to convert the parking lot into theme park. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that kind of makes sense to me. And yeah. then the transient tax we're just kind of dealing with going, yeah, it is what it is. When you start looking at prices around Disney, you're paying Disney prices. Yeah. And people have to understand too, that is not, that's the California doing that, but it's such a big amount of money. Very different at the Grand Cal where, where it was very small and worked into the dues. Small at Alani, a little bit bigger than Grand Cal, of course, but this transient tax at the tower really bit into the momentum that blew out when that resort launched. And that's why, like you said, we cleared out of almost every single Grand Cal listing when that came to fruition. Because if you're a member and you're going to say, stay at the tower, say you're in a two bedroom, maybe you spend 400 points, take that times the transient tax, you could be walking out with a bill of $1,200. And you know what? Members sit back and think, you know what? That's not just what Disney's vacation club is supposed to be like. I'm supposed to walk out without a bill like that because you still pay dues. So it did put a damper on it. It's a beautiful property, but mm, very interesting what they're going to do. Hopefully they do something about it, Chad. I have no idea. And we'll see. I mean, I've got opening day there booked, Linda, and stay tuned. Follow us for more coverage because I will be doing some lives from their opening day right. and going through it and talking with people in various different rooms and doing room tours and everything. We're, we are covering that resort and that grand opening really, 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 really well. We've got some great fun. stuff planned there as Good. well. Let's come back over to our final topic of today that'll lead back to red hot listings. And that's the active listings that are here. Now, last mm -hmm. month when I did the recording, I think we were around 407, 
maybe mm-hmm. 470, but today we're at 457. Mm-hmm. And that updates on the fly. Like as you close a deal, that number changes. Right. It does. I'm looking at this going, these contracts are still moving because you guys are still selling and it's moving along. Like 457 is still just a couple of weeks worth of inventory on the market. Yeah. I remember a time when we had over 800 listings, Chad. So Mm -hmm. this stuff is going, going, going. And this is a perfect time for that family who's trying to get into DVC that maybe that spring, summer timeframe is going to be their vacation because they buy it now, get a great price on it, get it through the the closing and the full transfer, which by the way, takes, you know, about an average, about 90 days, give or take some, depending upon Disney's part of it. And then they're in a good space to make reservations at their home resort and beat out that seven month window opening where all the other members can get in there. So that's something to be in tune with. And I always like to chat with new families that are buyers about, hey, when are you wanting to take that next vacation? This is how the timeline's gonna work. But I think that's another reason that's driving the business is we've got a few more listings now than we normally do coming in, but that's great for buyers Mm -hmm. because they've got a nice menu to look at. It's not as limited and boom, all of a sudden, this huge menu shows up with red hot deals. And it truly is for those that don't really understand, well, what does that really mean? It is under market value. You don't have to go back and forth. You find that perfect listing and you love it and you push the button and you buy it. And that's the price. There's no dickering. It's going to include exactly what it says. And I'll tell you what, don't sit and stare at one too long. I sold one this morning that had been sold a week ago. The buyer had ran into financial difficulties. It went back up last night and it sold this morning. So they're gonna move. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it was in a lobby. Yeah, let's take a look at this because I did a little peeking around before recording. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to come back in and just focus in on Bay Lake Tower and look at some of these listings, right? Sure. So we've got some reduced listings here, right? Mm-hmm. 156, 158, 153, 173. But look at all of this points availability here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now we've got this one. It's got tagged as double points. Yeah. But when I put my status down here, and I like showing people on YouTube here how to come back in and do this. If we come into our reduced, we can filter on red hot deals. Sure can. And now that contract shows up at 144 a point, not 158. <laughs> 144 and look at this linda you got me drooling double points look at that but can you imagine what you can do because listen when it gets closed say you don't use that many at once great you use the old ones bank the new ones the year you want to bring the whole family stay in a grand villa or or a two bedroom you've got all those points and you can still borrow from the future but let me tell you something about that contract that contract at this time last year or in the springtime would have been going for the probably low 160s or higher because it was a seller's mark at that time. This 144 a point, you just don't see that. So the emphasis is- It's 144 with double points with because double. this is, okay, let's look at this. February you year, you mm-hmm. have until September 30th to bank these points. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna have the seller bank the points for you just in case you don't close on it by September 30th. That's right about the, "Eh, I might make it, I might not. So then you've got 200 points to blow out between now and January 31st, Mm -hmm. which that'd be a heck of a lot of fun. You could put them up on a guaranteed reservation and blow them out. You could come back in and just book a poly bungalow for a night or two with 200 points. You'd have to Mm -hmm. get a little bit more than than that, but you could come back in and just make a quick weekend out of it and something really cool. You could rent them and get some extra cash in. And then next year, you're going to be sitting on 400 points. Yeah, th- it, that's a great contract. That is really uh, a great contract. This is a darling gem. And this is what I like to do when I do this show is to come back in here, find a couple of contracts that just stick out at me. And this is one of them. It is. This is definitely one of them. Great contract. And for the snowbirds, several years ago, I had a member who bought 400 points for me and they came down and they spend a month in a studio at Old Key West pretty much. And they don't have to go in the park all the time. They don't need to do that. They go play golf. They go to restaurants. They've met great friends. So if you can imagine being able to do that, just use the old points this year. And if you're a snowbird and you're retired next year, why don't you come down for three or four weeks? on a package like that, because if you can imagine what it would cost you to rent, astronomical. Yeah. But the deals are out there, Chad. You found it. Well, you better not look at it very long because you may want to pull out your checkbook. 
I was just walking by it this week, my wife, and she just said, I really miss owning Bay Lake. I wish we still hadn't sold our Bay Lake points, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but we got a house down here now. So like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> we 365, yeah, 365 days guaranteed availability, right? It's uh, a little bit different, but I, I understand the walk to Magic Kingdom. And I think we were coming out of Magic Kingdom one night and just looking at this sea of people. And going, oh my gosh, we got to make it back over to TTC, a boat, a monorail, or whatever. Or we could have just walked to Bay Lake Tower. I get where she was coming from. Okay? <laughs> I do. I do. I really, truly, truly do. Truly do. <laughs> Great property. Yeah. And so Ry Kim was saying, I'm glad that contract isn't a March use year. What a deal. <laughs> I think I would have found a buyer for you a lifetime had it been March, Linda. So, yeah. <laughs> well- well, and you know, a lot of members, they do love to keep their use year the same, but I got a few out there that they don't care because it's close to February and the banking and borrowing is not spread apart, but you got to do what feels best for you. Yeah, as well. Well, Linda, I want to thank you so much for joining us today on the show. And Linda is one agent that's out there. Anybody at DVC Resale Market can help you if you go to dvcresalemarket.com. And let me pull this back up with just to give like another quick shout out to them is to come back in and go like right here on this deal. If you click chat with us, you will come back in and be able to chat with Linda or any of the team that's there. Chat is available, call them, email them, contact them, or we will throw Linda's contact information up right here. Linda, how can listeners reach out to you if they want to follow up? Definitely. You can reach me at Linda at DVCresellmarket.com. My number is 352-223-9600. And particularly for new families too, just questions are certainly welcome. I was a direct guide for over 25 years. So any of my team, including myself, happy to help you with that research. So thanks for having me, Chad. That is awesome as well. Anyways, thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you guys learned something in today's episode that'll help you go out there and enhance your research and buy something or sell something and plan something magical for your family. Thanks for tuning in everybody. And thanks for joining us, Linda. Y'all have thank a great you. one. Take care. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch your head and step as you exit and take small children by the hand. Aw, oh, chill up, Dad. You know we'll come back. With DVC. My DVC Points is an unofficial Disney-inspired podcast created by fans of Disney Vacation Club. The thoughts expressed in this podcast are personal opinions and personal experiences. My DVC Points is not affiliated with Disney Vacation Club, the Walt Disney Companies, or any subsidiaries. We encourage listeners to contact their DVC guide or member services for official DVC policies.